The IMF recently announced that the UK will be one of the only countries out of the G7, whose economy will be shrinking. This video will be seeking to understand whether or not this statement is true and if the UK economy is really on the decline. And if so, what are the reasons and causes for this decline and if there are any chances of recovery. For more content like this make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. For a while now, the UK economy has been struggling, many Brits can feel this, due to their wages not being able to keep up with the increase in prices. The IMF has announced its predictions that the UK economy will decrease in size this year, as well as this news being followed by the Bank of England announcing that it is forecasting a short recession taking place in the UK in 2023. Although this news might seem predictable to some, given the recent pandemic, the Russia-Ukraine war and the rise in energy and food prices. It is still shocking that the UK economy is shrinking despite other major European countries' economies are growing such as Germany and France. Although, forecasts don't always have to be correct. Especially because when it comes to economic growth there are many factors that can affect this. But despite this forecasts, can still help steer us in the right direction. The current existing data shows that the UK compared to other G7 members has been more impacted by the recent challenges it has faced over the years compared to other rich countries. Data from the Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development which shows how wealthy countries are performing economically, has shown that during the first few months of the pandemic, the UK economy fell the most compared to other rich countries. And although the UK economy did begin to recover quickly after it reopened, its recovery wasn't quick enough to help make up for the impact it had suffered during the pandemic. But despite this, it is argued that these predictions of the UK economic downfall are not accurate and the gap between the performance of the UK economy and other wealthy countries' economy isn't that much, this is because, different methods are used by different countries to measure their economic growth and prosperity, for example, this can be seen when it comes to measuring the output of public services such as health and education, here for example the UK measures this differently compared to other wealthy countries. What this means is that the figures that have been released showing the downfall of economic growth in the UK, is a reflection of schools being shut during lockdown and disruption across the country due to strikes. But despite this, the Bank of England and the IMF both have predicted that the UK economy will decrease in size this year. Some argue that the reason for the UK economic downfall is because of Brexit. It has been estimated that Brexit is costing the UK economy up to £100 billion a year and is also the reason why the UK economy is going down by 4%. The deputy director of the fiscal studies argued that the EU is a very rich part of the world and the UK for better or worse has made the decision to make it more difficult to trade with these countries and hence this is making economic growth harder to achieve. It is also believed that after the 2016 referendum there hasn't been much business investment in the UK. As well as this, there has been a decline in the EU workforce coming over to work in the UK, as they no longer are able to freely come over and work. This has meant that the UK hospitality, agriculture and care sectors have experienced a shortage in staff. However, other critics argue that leaving the EU was a big deal for the UK and is something that might have short-term losses but long-term gains and that we are just simply in a transition phase and it is nothing to worry about. After the invasion of Ukraine by Russia, this led to a worldwide increase in energy prices. However, different countries were impacted differently, for example, the US was able to depend on its own fossil fuels supply, whereas other EU countries used their alternate energy sources. However, the UK did not have these options. And to make matters worse, its electricity prices are based on the cost of gas which means that energy bills increased significantly and so did a lot of other bills across the economy and inflation increased as well. Another reason why the UK is facing economic decline, is because during the pandemic most countries' economies saw their labor force decrease, but once the lockdown was over they were able to recover, the UK was not one of these countries. The reason for this is not quite clear, but some say it's down to a few reasons, Firstly there is not enough EU workers, secondly, many young people are deciding to study not work, and lastly people are now retiring early, and there has been an increase in people receiving long-term sickness benefits. But there has been some indication that the UK workforce is starting to increase again, which is a good thing as it means perhaps soon there will be an increase in economic growth and tax revenues.
If you like this video make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the comment section if you think the UK economy will be recovering soon?